one. Hee <laughs> hee. And now I lost everyone. So, uh, biotech and DNA technology. Biotech, we can use it for food, vaccine, all these other good stuff. Anything that... Except for that. That should be banned in every country. I'm already off topic, but that apple orange should be banned in every country. Yeah. Looks kind of yummy. yummy. Looks kind of cursed. I ordered an apple. Alright, let's go, bro. Okay, this one is highly easy. You're gonna get a bacteria plasmid, and you're gonna. Oh, oh I remember. Yeah, vector, vector and all that. It, it's a vector. Plasmid is a vector. You're gonna get your uh, DNA, and you're gonna cut. I'm already skipping because I know what happens to restriction enzymes. Let's talk about restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes are what we cut. We have two types: blunt and sticky. Blunt, clean, sticky stuff hanging out. And basically, it has a recreation site, and it'll cut. Oh, uh, yeah. Shut up, Jake. <laughs> uh, here's an example of what restriction enzymes are and aren't do. And we'll cut. This is an example of a sticky end we're going to put. This is what, uh, let me go back up. This is what step three is. This is step three. This is where we're going to put stuff in. So we're going to cut. We're going to replace. We're gonna glue and it becomes our DNA. We're gonna use DNA ligase, I think. Yes, to unite and this becomes recombinant DNA or our DNA. What are vectors? They are uh, DNA that can be transferred. So, plasmid is an example. Uh, we can use this to get antibiotic resistance to other things, enzymes, genes, stuff like that. We can make proteins by using vectors to transport it. Uh, uh, do we need? Okay, no. Let's go to the next step. Once we put it back in the recombinant DNA back into the bacteria, we can either use that to copy the genes, so we can give that gene to, let's say, plants for uh, pesticide resistance, or we can make bacteria that G that cleans up toxic waste. We don't, or we can use proteins that that gene makes. And harvest the proteins. We either want the gene or the protein. Oh no. Next one, uh, we talked about recon okay, recombinant technology. This is what recombinant technology, recombinant DNA. We can use genetic engineering. Uh it's naturally microbes in the lab. We can do all sorts of stuff. Insulin production, vaccines, stuff like that. Uh we're gonna artificial selection. Artificial selection. A lot of you guys know. Most commonly in dogs, we, like forcefully breed two dogs that have a trait. Let's say I'm looking for small ears, so I'll look for two dogs with the smallest ears and breed them because I know the generations will have smaller ears. So for uh, plants, you know those like uh, pumpkin, like largest, largest. Largest pumpkin, largest tomato competitions like that. Yeah. Uh, they would use artificial selection. They'll get the plants that produce the two biggest tomatoes or pumpkins, and then they'll breed them. Uh, mutations. Uh, mutations. We're gonna use radiation, and we're gonna use. We're just. This is by chance. We're gonna put radiation. See what happens. If it's good, we keep it. If it's bad, we throw it away and try again. We talked about restriction DNA and vectors. Let's talk about PCR. What is the goal of PCR? PCR, what was it? Um, uh, I don't know. For for time. Time. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. PCR is used to make more DNA so you can, which small samples of DNA can be amplified for analysis. So there's enough for analysis. So let's see what P uh, DNA uh, PCR is. So first we're gonna heat it up. Then we're gonna add in the environment primers, nucleotides, and DNA polymers. This is we're not adding them individual. We're just putting them in the environment. Then we're gonna put it at sixty degrees, and the primers will attach themselves, which allows the DNA polymers with the nucleotides to fill in, 
and then you'll just repeat the cycle. So you'll heat it back up at 94, it'll break, and then you'll have billions after 30 cycles. Alright. So we have two types, real time and reverse. Real time is like DNA, and you can where and you can put dye on it, and then reverse is at RNA, and we use we can make complementary DNA out of that. So let's say how can we put a uh, DNA into stuff. So we first have transformation, which happens naturally. Oh, just like a bacteria cell would just eat up DNA. We can, or we can, sh we can heat shock it and allow, we can that. Uh, we can elect, we can electrocute it. So tiny holes can occur. So DNA can enter. We can either fuse to stuff. Use the pleuroplast to form hybrid cells. You can either shoot it with a gene gun or micro injection. Uh, genomic libraries is where we store either DNA. I mean, this is a phage library, which is viruses. This is plasmid for bacteria. We'll clone the stuff so we can have the plasmid that we want. Uh, obtaining DNA. Pretty easy. Uh, clones. So how do we know clones? So clones, we can t we can use blue white screening, which is we're gonna put a we're gonna put this this we're gonna find something that's blue. And we're gonna put our new foreign DNA in the middle, and if you cut a gene in half, it stops working. So that blue will turn white. So you know that. Uh, which ones will have the foreign DNA because they're colored? Yeah, you're always looking, looking for, for the, the white, white colony. colony. Yes, because you know white colonies have, have their common DNA, DNA the blue ones, ones don't. don't. Because you put so it in the white colonies. Yeah, yeah, so the white, white colonies, colonies are going to be the ones, ones that have the DNA with the interest gene. Because you're you cutting have. through a gene. Because, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that means the lax Z was able to be interrupted successfully. The... Uh, yeah, selecting a clone, you can put dyes. I think that's what I got. Or an enzyme, so you can label it. Gene products. Uh, you can easily use bacteria. They're easy to grow. Yeast. Uh, you they're more successful in expressing mammalian. This was a test question, and mammalian cells are the best because they because they're the closest to us. They're the cells closest to us. What cells? What cells? Mammalian How was cells. It was like mammalian? which type of cell is best for medical use, and it had like yeah, bacteria, mammalian. yeast, mammalian cells, and plant cells. It's mammalian yeah, cells because because they're the closest to us. Did you double th like? Did you double think yourself and like oh bacteria? I did. I, 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 I doubled thought a lot. A lot of, I, 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 I thought it was like, bacteria. Like, I think. Oh. oh. Oh, Maybe I got that one. I don't know. This one we can use it as a therapeutic or a vaccine. This is uh, if we go back up, I want to go back up. Uh, this is what we do when extracting proteins. Uh, viruses is shell oh, is yeah. proteins. So, so the so we'll put this bacteria. We'll put this surface gene inside that bacteria. The bacteria only produces the proteins. It doesn't produce what's uh, the stuff that actually harms you. So your body will do all the steps. So will, what's it called? It will take it in. It will start producing antibodies because it has the proteins that identifies it. But it but there's nothing harms you. That's how vaccines. This type of vaccine works. DNA vaccines. And. You got. You can use it as insulin or somastatin, stuff like that. Uh, you can use gene therapy. You put a gene. You can do. You can do gene silencing, mRNA. We talked about mRNA recently. Uh, genome studies. You know, genome is the entire DNA you have. Like every DNA you have. Is there like? It's not here. 
which slide was it where it's like 88% of your genome is your like 88% oh that was the DNA stuff but genome is your entire DNA like your 88% related to mice and 25% related to rice stuff like that uh, you have bio uh, you have scientific stuff gene genetic testing versus genetics uh, scientific southern blotting, I understand now, because, uh, here, let me go to the who's daddy. This is what, uh, this is what it does. It separates genes and that stuff, so you can see it like this. This is a result of blotting, southern blotting. Scientific southern blotting, so you're gonna get your gene of interest. You're gonna put it here. And it'll separate each itself, so you're going to put sponges and fibers, so it can stick to the paper, so you can see it. You can use fingerprinting, nanotech, aquaculture, you can put uh, resistance to pesticides and weather, ethics, who cares about ethics, profiling, we can use this to profile. Or, uh, to find you, we can use this. Tandemins, we talked about these. These are, like, repeating this. If you're closely, your tandemins are closely related, then you probably related. And if they're not, then they not. Who's daddy? Let's see who's daddy. So, for this one, it's anything the child has and the mother... But the mother doesn't have. The dad should have everything that the child has, but the mother doesn't have. So let's look. The mother has one. One. So this one doesn't matter because the child doesn't look it. Don't look at the mother. Just look at the child. The second one. We can already get rid of dad one because the mother doesn't have it and dad one doesn't have it. So it must be either dad two or dad three. So let's look at this one. This one, the mom has it, so it doesn't matter. So let's look at this one. The mom has it. So let's look at this one. Dad one has it. But only dad three has that one. So dad two can't be. It must be dad three. Uh, genetically modifying organisms. We do that all the time. Uh, so CRISPR, CRISPR. We can use Cas9 to break stuff. And we get genetically modified food. And animals, so we can get more food, health, uh, more resilient food, more reliable food. That's it. 